Okay, so you've got an interest in photography. I'm guessing that's why you're watching this video. And you're thinking of it possibly as a career? Well, it's not a bad one. Get some good times, bad times, and some really fun times. I've uh, got a few little do's and don'ts for you. Uh, pros and cons sort of thing, a bit later on in the video. For now I just think I'll just tell you a little bit about myself. I um, started photography when I was a young man, very young, I was about six. I've had an interest in photography from my dad's passion, really. He was um, a very keen amateur and he's quite a good photographer in his way. And it just appealed to me. Um, six, around about six years old, I was given a Kodak 110, which is a little teeny little thin Instamatic camera with uh, a cartridge inside it. It used to have about 12 photos on the film. And that's when I, what started me off really. Uh, progressed through that to a 126, which is more of a larger film. Um, not quite 35 mil, but close to. And then after working my little nut stuff as a paper boy, I actually managed to buy myself a proper 35 millimeter film camera with removable lenses. I was probably about 14 then. Um, luckily the school I went to had a camera club and we had our own dark room so I learnt the process of development and enlarging etc etc there. So that was all very well and good. Um, I left school, didn't continue with photography as such, it was a hobby but there weren't any media courses or anything like that so it was one of those things that you just did as a hobby and you didn't really think of it as a professional career which uh, you kids today are so much luckier that you've got media studies and photography courses and things like that out there so if you decide to go down this path I wish you all the very best of luck um, yeah so after I'd left school I went to the usual sort of thing I worked in a news agent so I worked in a timber yard worked my way up to foreman, I was a um, satellite installation technician, used to put up the satellite dishes and put in the sky boxes when it first came out, uh, yeah I'm a bit old, <laughs> um, and from then on I just sort of flitted around different jobs and didn't really settle, um, I did a bit of theatre, a little bit of acting, I was a special constable for a few years, you know, I got married and divorced and married again, um, spent 20 odd years as a carer for my daughter who's disabled, and uh, she decided when she's a bit older to move out and get her own life, and she's doing all right. Um, and about seven years ago now, my sister decided to get married, something I never thought would happen, but well done, Pen, you got a good one. And she asked me if I'd photograph her wedding. So my wife had just bought me a new camera. And I said, yeah, why not? And I went there, did the photography, had a wonderful day, thoroughly enjoyed myself. Came back home and on the journey home, I said to my wife, I want to do this as a job. I want to make this my career. So we um, looked into it and I set up my business seven years ago. Uh, it's been great fun. I've had some wonderful times and mainly do weddings. Um, thing with weddings is you've got to have the right temperament because they never run to time, or very rarely. You will have brides who are really stressed and grooms who are just sort of, yeah, well, it's just another day. <laughs> and it can be really rewarding um, when you see the photos after graphs afterwards and you're editing them you think that was a good day but there is a caveat you will be editing the photographs for a good couple of weeks if you do a proper job and in that respect you've got to put your pricing right you can't just say well I'll do it for 200 quid or something because you may be working on that for two weeks and 200 pound for two weeks way at work it's not a lot of money so you need to think about your pricing if you're going to go down the wedding photography line. If you're interested in more landscape, things like that, then you're probably not going to make a, a career out of it as such, unless you're absolutely lucky as hell 
and you can just go on and work for people like National Geographic and things like that but you can make money selling prints online you can make money having a gallery exhibition you know all these little things that will work so you know there's a lot of aspects to photography you've got portraits you've got weddings landscapes wildlife macro you know there's so many different aspects that you can put into photography and hopefully you'll find your passion for the one that you really love and focus on that you can still do the others you know, I still do passport photos they don't pay a lot but it's you know little babies can be a bit awkward to get them to sit up in a booth so yeah and now down to the little nitty gritties and the little do's and don'ts one don't is don't judge your work too harshly when I started this with the wedding photography I was extremely critical of my own work I was there thinking that photo is rubbish that photo is rubbish that is no good but brides expect so many delivered so I'd edit them and send them off on the USB stick and they were the ones that the brides loved the most so listen to other people and what they say of your photographs what they think of them don't worry about what you feel if the photo is technically correct and it's well balanced and you've got the colors right you know you'll go far you can't go too wrong uh, another one is don't stress too much about the camera you've got the amount of times I've had people come up to me and say that's a nice camera I bet you get some great photos with that well yes I do but that's because I'm a good photographer not because of the camera I can take great photos with my mobile phone down here I have excuse me a moment this little guy this is just a point and click that's that's your viewfinder the mirror on the back it's effectively a mirrorless camera but it's old and it's got 21 times optical zoom it hasn't got detachable lenses but I still get some cracking photos with it this is my sort of just going out for a walk camera you know, I don't you don't need the top of the range mirrorless Sony a9 or the latest Canon model or the latest Nikon model or any other brand you don't need it you just need a camera that you can take good photographs with and that's down to you if it's got 10 megapixels it doesn't matter 10 megapixels you'll get less less noise because the pixels are spread more more, more wide apart on the sensor so they capture more light and you get less noise if you've got 52 megapixels you still get excellent photographs you know you might get a bit more noise but the software generally sorts that out you know the built-in software in the camera or when you're editing you know and everybody will say oh use Photoshop you know, use Adobe Photoshop you don't have to I use a program called Affinity Photo from Serif and it's as good as Photoshop it does some excellent editing jobs and it's like 60 quid I think I think I paid 30 for mine because I've been with Serif for years but I think it's only 60 quid to buy new and there's no continuous ongoing costs I haven't found a good equivalent to Lightroom yet and Lightroom if you're doing a wedding is a godsend but you know if you're just doing one or two photographs use Photoshop or Affinity and it will do you fine you know, you've even got GIMP which is a free version effectively of Photoshop it's a bit more tricky it's a bit floaty I would say with the windows and things like that that has in it you're, you're developing windows separate to your attachments and all this lot but it's still a good program it does a very good job excuse me so yeah um, anything else I could say only to if you're going to do photography make sure you bloody enjoy it because it will be amazing you might not make a lot of money you might not make any money or you might become world famous top of the range 
class one photographer. Whatever you do, I wish you all the very best in your future. And whatever you decide, just enjoy yourself. Because that's what life is all about. Thank you.